in Plough Aquium Beach today, just by Torre Vieca, just by the Alba, the marina just there, and we're going to talk about all the latest news. We've got a few new rule changes today. We're going to be talking about the traffic rules, also the cigarettes and other things in the weather. So we're just going to take a stroll along the beach and explain what's been going on. See, yeah, if you've never been to this beach before, it's right in between Playa de Cura, which is up there in Torre Vieja, and this is Playa Aquion Beach, and just to the left you've got Playa Norvicus. And uh, like most of the beaches in Spain, very, very well maintained and clean, and they're all well looked after. Like I say, every morning they get raked, single morning, all lovely and clean, beginning of the day, and it's actually this beast that cleans the beach. And this is what we're going to be talking about today, funny enough, about the, um, the weather being a nice hot day in February, 23 degrees. There's a big problem with the drought in Spain, as we've not had rain for quite a long time they've actually brought in severe restrictions up in Barcelona it's going to affect around 6 million people going to be issuing fines between 5,000 and 3,000 for anyone that's caught washing their car or filling up their pool unless they're using recycled water they could be liable to one of these fines because this is one of the warmest starts to the year on history 2024 We've already had record breaking temperatures, second hottest January in 38 years, and I'm sure it's expected to be a lot more with a lot of this global warming. So, this beach I'm on, Plough Aquin, great little beach. They do like morning exercises here, fitness classes. As you can see, we've just gone past the Patangas, got lots of bars along here as well, bit of a sun trap. And we're just going to walk all the way around, and then you've got the marina around the other side. Also, there's another new rule come in today, and the police are really cracking down on this one. It's to do with roundabouts, people not using their indicators, and this is what's going to be happening. Going to start being issuing fines and clamping down on it, as you can see. So the Spanish are cutting right down, as you can see, they go straight across, no indicators on roundabouts. They just go all the way around, just go wherever they want and they're not using their indicators so this is all going to stop right now there's a new law coming in and they're going to skip find all these people that don't use their indicators on roundabouts oh yeah going to be issuing fines going to clamp right down on people not using indicators as people have been in spain they actually know spanish don't tend to use indicators and with the amount of uh traffic on the road nowadays Spain's had over 85 million tourists this year record breaking figures actually international tourists and apparently spent over 108.662 million euros that's quite a lot of money brought into Spain and it's actually overtook uh, the national tourist trade in France as well with actually the number one for the tourist trade now in all Europe, Spain, and that's what's going on now. A lot of the houses are getting bought all over Europe. All the uh, Scandinavians, Norwegians, are all buying into Spain. It's been booming last year, but we're expecting apparently beginning of this year we're going to start seeing a little slowdown in the market of the second-hand houses, and uh, they're still speaking that the new build are the ones that are still going to keep going up and they're still going to be keep going for these new build houses because of the foreign demand apparently for the new and the reason we've got this uh, huge demand for houses in Spain they reckon because of the economy is really good now really strong economy and the low interest rates that's why they're all buying up 
So yeah, if you want to get yourself an house, this is the time to get in and get one. Because prices are starting to see a rise, first time in the last few years. We actually see a lot of house prices going up. Not as cheap as they were, that's for sure. But there's plenty of bargains around. And the reason why a lot of these uh, foreign investors are all coming to Spain. Spain's ranked one of the healthiest nations in Europe. And you want to know why this is? It's because they don't eat old foods. They actually eat very healthy, they eat fresh produce, and they don't use any kind of oil, ditch seed oil or anything like that. They're using olive oil, and they eat plenty of seafood. And this is why it's become so healthy. And also, because of the warm weather, there's a lot of alfresco dining, a lot of people eating out, walking, social life, fiestas going on. So it's outdoor living, more exercise involved, and uh, healthy eating. He's making the old Spanish one of the healthiest places. Early February, and there's people, as you can see, uh, enjoying the lovely sunshine. And this is generally a quiet beach compared to Torre Vieja and Benidorm. It's a quiet part of Spain. But we've got some bad news if you're a smoker, because I'm afraid they're uh, talking about increasing the price of cigarettes. At the moment, it's four euros eighty for a packet of cigarettes, which is one of the cheapest places in Europe for cigarettes. And they want to increase the fags because they want to start deterring people from smoking. They want to cut back the smoking. And the only way they're going to do this is to put the prices up. And that's what they intend to do. But there is some good news. The Spanish government has decided to increase the wages by 5%. If you're liking this video, give us a like and a thumbs up and uh, let us know in the comments what you think about all these uh, new changes, increasing in inflation, wages increases and the cigarettes. Is it going to affect you? Price of cigarettes going up. It certainly ain't going to affect me give up for over 20 years now best thing I ever done was to give up smoking good for me pocket good for me health just to the left there you got a lovely little park Simferosa and uh, just around there you got the marina and you got some beautiful nice little restaurants in there I'll actually post a link at the end you can take a look at that you get a lot of water sports here as well had a ball in and if you are living on an urbanisation in Spain, which a lot of people are, and as you know, when you pay your urbanisation fees to the president who's running the committee, they don't tend to pay themselves any wages. It's all meant to be done as free, unless it's all written down at the beginning of the meeting. But most urbanisations, it's uh, zero fees for administration. They just take for the paperwork and bits and pieces, a few thousand. Barona, this person who was running this expat community has decided to pay himself a salary of 86,700, which is more than what the vice president gets for Spanish ministers. An FD old wage, and no one actually knew about it, and he'd been doing this for a couple of years, paying himself a nice old salary for a job that's supposed to be free so that's going to end up in the old spanish courts the solicitor's already on the case it's a big uproar going on for doing a job in a urbanization to benefit the urbanization taking all the fees and paying itself an fd fd wage as caused one of the biggest uproars in this expat community. So yeah, watch this space. We'll find out what happens to this old chappy. Check my next video out, just out at the Hidden Bars and Restaurants.